Hi guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and I am back with my September monthly budget setup. So it's time just to dive right in. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is setting up my budget for the entire month of September. Um, if you've been following along with these videos, you know that I get paid once a month. And so I like to set my budget for the entire month and just kind of have that money accumulate and being used throughout the month rather than trying to split it up week by week. So let's just jump right into it. What we're going to be doing um, in this video is taking a look at my expenses, um, my bills, um, and just talking about my budget and like the different categories that I have and how much I put each month into each category. So just to start off with, I have my bills here um, and I didn't do this in the last video. So I thought I would do it in this video. I'm going to total up the bills amount right here uh, just so you can see how much I uh, budget for bills. So I have 1200 for mortgage, 100 for my cell phone, 60 for internet. It's basically 175. I don't know if you can read that, but it was 175 last month for electricity. Um, and then gas was 30 water was right at 60 um then our adt security is 73 pest control we budget 135 a month um and then lawn care i budgeted 45 but we actually got charged 50. i'll still budget 45 um just because we still have like money rolling over in that section but it might be in the future that we move that number up um then i have 12 dollars for dropbox and then two dollars for google so that is 1892 uh to be like extremely exact um and so i'm just gonna put this right here the total here is 1892 all right um and so that's what we have for my bills now i also have multiple like categories where i have money kind of split up um and so the first one here is a no spin category for me this is my miscellaneous like unbudgeted money um and so in this category let me pull a marker um, I don't budget anything. I'm just going to go ahead and designate that it's September just so we can see like kind of the break off here. Um, but the budgeted, the budget for September is zero. All right. And so let me go ahead and do a final, like, like an update for the beginning of September of what we have right here. So we do have 283. 80 which is money that i got cash back um and then in this category i ended up like moving um or like purchasing some planner stuff you can see here um at the end of the month um and so we have right now 234 84 um and in this money um i you can see like the theme here is planners one of the things that i didn't do in august was like earn the $200 for planner supplies. Um, what I like to do, what I've done for this entire year was earn enough in de-stashing that at least $200 and anything above that um, was used for planner supplies. And so I didn't do that um, for the month of August. And so I ended up using a lot of this miscellaneous money for planner supplies. And so I'll, in September, pull $20, $200 out uh, to cover the August deficit for planner supplies. So this category in the next couple of days will be down to $34 uh, for miscellaneous money. So that's the first one right there. It's a no spin category, like it says, All right? This next one here is beauty. Um, and this is a new category for me, basically decided to add this just to kind of um, be aware of and take care of, you know, just like personal care, beauty, hair, nails, that kind of thing. Um, and so I just decided like, since it's getting towards the end of the month, oh, sorry, the end of the year, um, I just want to be able to maybe build up this money so I can spoil myself for my 40th birthday. Um, so sorry, I should start like right here, 55, 15. This is the last time I totaled it or like, you know, balanced it out. So um, I spent some on like this super nice dress that was super cheap on Amazon. And then I purchased some more press on nails. Um, so it did go negative, like at the very end of the month. Um, but then I'm adding $200. So now it's back in the positive right at 198. 06. All right, um, and so I have that money just going into the next couple of months just to get my hair and nails done, that kind of thing. Um, I'm hoping to save up enough money for a spall date. So that that is the where most of that money is going to go. Now, in car, um, I haven't spent anything in car, um, but here I put $75 each month for car maintenance and just, you know, any, like, emergencies that might come, come up with the car. And so here we have 520 49 plus that 75 is going to be right now um sorry like i have 
too many markers, right? Um, $595.49. That's in car maintenance. Hopefully my car doesn't break down between now and the end of the year, but you know, I have that money if I need it. All right. Education is where I pay for like books, um, any professional fees that I have to maintain my license. Um, and so I set aside $30 every month for this. Um, in the month of September, I do know that I will be spending the majority of this money to renew my license. Um, and so this money will be mostly gone by the end of this month. Um, but right now I have right at two ninety eight seventeen dollars for education. And then food. Food, um, if you watched my mid-August um, kind of update, you know that food we were like way over uh, just because of a couple of meal kits. Um, but I'm hoping that for the month of September, we're going to be back on track, right? But what we're going to put here for September is is usual $200. All right. And then I'm going to total from this point, which is the last kind of like totaling out. Um, one of the things you'll notice is I don't worry so much about like being over budget um, and like, you know, kind of being a few dollars over here and there. Um, the reason for that is because I don't use like a, a cash envelope system. Um, I just kind of like have these chunks here, like these categories, um, and I am just trying to be more aware of my money, but I don't have to be so strict with my budget where like I have to be like exactly at zero at the end of the month. Um, I'm okay with like going over um, just a little bit, especially if I know that I'm towards the end of the month and I'm going to be rebalancing, um, just, you know, like flipping over the calendar page and moving into the next month, right? So right now we have 334.76 right there. Moving forward then, gas, I did total it out here um, for August and I haven't spent gas since like in the last couple of weeks. Um, so gas normally gets um, each month $75, which is an increase that I did like over the summer. But I'm now in a good spot because I still have money left over from August. And I, again, just roll this money over. Um, if you watched my, like, rebalancing video, the mid-August update, you saw how I kind of shifted money around. Um, and so my budget is fairly flexible. But right now I have four gas, 140, 22 cents. Uh, and then gifts. Uh, gifts covers everything from birthdays to holidays, um, Christmas. Um, so all of those big gift Categories, kind of like all those purchases that you would make fall here. All right. And since I didn't spend anything, 300 and 100 is 400 and 12 cents left. I think that's a good amount actually for Christmas. So I don't think that I'm going to increase it. I know I was just kind of trying to make a decision on whether I need to add that add to that amount for Christmas, but $400 I feel like is a decent amount. Um, I don't really buy for uh, very many people. It's mostly just my nieces and nephews for my daughter and then for immediate family members. Um, and we, for the adult family members, we do like usually like some kind of smaller exchange where people like have a secret Santa or something like that. Um, so I don't have to buy for every single person. So I feel like 400 is a good amount. And because I spend on gifts for Sophia like throughout the year I don't feel like I have to have like a giant gift for her at Christmas um so health is another category here that I add ten dollars to um and so again I haven't really spent anything here um so this is 23.85 that's starting out the month of September here my handwriting is getting worse as I continue but hopefully you can still read it um home is a category where I um just set aside some money for like sprucing up the house doing decorations um just adding fun things like fall decor things like that to the house um this will be where i pull like christmas decorations so i'm very excited about like having some money here to purchase some some new stuff for christmas um and so we will have 51 dollars and 77 cents um and we are already starting to buy like fall decor here so that that was the fall decor right here too so super excited about that love that all right this next one is house repairs, so house maintenance type stuff. Um, and so I do budget here $300. Um, my goal is by the end of the year to save up a good enough amount. So that way, um, starting in 2022, we can kind of like scale down, I guess. I don't know if I would say scale down, but like get to like a more normal amount um, instead of like trying to add, throw like $300 at it every month. Um, I feel like 300 is a lot. Maybe it's not. Like, if you have an opinion, just let me know. Um, but we have three thirty two ninety eight in there right now. Um, and I don't know what to do with this music category because I still am waiting on, like, about $5, $6, like, five 
98 or something like that um, in music. So I'm not going to do anything here, I don't think. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just still add it, okay? Um, I need numbers, right? So um, I do still have a lot of money in this category. Let me go ahead and add the $10. I don't know how to calculate this, though. I'm going to just calculate it off this amount, even though I've only been charged $13.87 here. I did order about $20 worth of music, so I'm just going to use that number right there. And then if this music doesn't come in, then I'll just add it back in. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's 1981, and I'm adding $10 for the month of September, so I have $70 in here, right? And, you know, I'm starting to get to an amount where maybe I can start saving for, like, a concert or something like that. Um, so that would come out of this category as well. All right, planners is a no-spin category for me, um, so it will be zero here, um, but I will go ahead and total up this amount. Um, you'll see that I have a bunch of notes here, basically, with me, like, not being at a good place in terms of the dollar amounts. Um, and I also didn't pull out um, some of the money that I have in PayPal, which is how I normally handle these dashes. Um, and so that money will come in here eventually. Um, but we'll start right here with the 345, right? And then this dollar amount, the 1443, was actually listed in my miscellaneous. Um, so it's listed here, 1443. Um, and so I'm not gonna total it out here, but this is a note to myself to maybe like go back to the 2021 shopping and maybe move some money around at some point later. Um, and I mentioned earlier that, you know, the goal is, or like the plan is to move $200 out of that miscellaneous for this too. I might just leave it though. Um, we'll see, all right. So all of this to say, basically it stays at 345. I just have a bunch of notes to myself. Okay, so I guess I didn't really need that. All right, this next one is school. All right, so school is um, paying for like after school care, babysitting, um, just things related to Sophia that might be for her. Um, you know, like we have in here ballet and tap and dance and like her after school programming, that kind of thing. Um, and so I I know that I kind of went over here, um, but we started off or like right here, it's fifty five eighty six, um, and then I got back this $45 um, from like returning some uniforms and then, oh, actually it's not negative. I'm not quite sure why I, I thought it was negative. Um, but so, oh, and then I'm gonna add, oh, so I'm, I put in $400 here for September and so let's total this amount. I'm gonna start right here. So this is 55.86. Um, I got, I returned some uniforms to a friend of mine or actually resold some uniforms. So that's that. Um, and then we bought some, uniform or like equipment, I guess, shoes and things like that for uh, ballet and tap. So that's that amount. All right. And so we're, we were at $36 basically. And now she's getting another 400 here for like curricular, co-curricular, extra, I'm sorry, extracurricular activities. Um, and this amount will probably like at starting in January be reduced to like maybe a hundred dollars or $200 a month. Um, we were paying for like private school, like daycare, that kind of thing out of this amount. So we, since she's in public school now, this does not need to be quite as high. So, but right now we have $435 and 89 cents for, you know, school and related activities. Um, and then here's Sophia. Sophia gets a $20 allowance from me every month. And this is just um, for her to buy the toys um, and like little knickknacks that she likes to buy um, and, you know, I am trying to teach her about money and, you know, getting her to be more, you know, financially aware. I don't know why I had to add that. Um, but basically she has $3 left over from August. Um, and now she added the 20. So she has $23 and 34 cents. Um, and then the last category here is travel. So travel, um, I ended up like having to move some money around again. Like if you watch the mid August update, I did rebalance my budgets here. Um, so that way, we were in the positive for all of these accounts or all of these categories. I um, mean, so here I'm just doing a totaling, but like for the budget in August, September, I put, I know it's kind of an odd amount, but it's 105 um, for the month of August and September. And so let's total right here from 1830. Um, I did purchase some like, like vacation clothes <laughs> for um, a vacation we're taking later in the year. And then I'm adding the budgeted amount here. So we now have 106. 81. I um, mean, that money is going to be uh, for like souvenirs, things like that, but also like just to purchase. I sometimes when I go on vacations, I don't buy souvenirs or like gifts or anything, mementos or anything like that from the vacation. I just like to like 
be prepared like with buying clothes and things like that. So that's what that money is kind of for. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, I think that we are looking very good for our budget this month. Um, and I look forward to doing a mid-month check-in. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.